Hey everyone, good morning. Something wrong with my coloring on my screen. Hmm, it looks darker on this side. Anyway, good morning everyone. So today I want to talk about what you should be putting in your packages. You know the packages you send to customers and why you should be putting them. Why I hate business cards. You'll find out why in a moment, okay? Um, but while you're on the call, can you guys tell me, does this side seem kind of dark to you? Um, it seems kind of dark to me. It seems very odd. Let me know in the comments. Hey, um, for some reason my comments did not turn around. They're sideways, but I can still read them. That's fine. Um, good morning. Let me grab my coffee. So, um, let me just move this. Okay, good morning, good morning. You are sideways. Yeah, it didn't turn around for some reason. Okay. Hold on, hold on. Okay, better? Today we, today we will be regular. Um, I think I did something when I was setting up my phone. And it didn't turn. So there you have it. Okay, guys, so anyway, um, good morning, good morning. Um, not too long ago, I showed you guys what I insert in my packages. Okay, let me refresh your memory really quick. Um, ba -ba -ba -ba. I insert, um, so I know I'm not sure if it looks backwards to you, but I insert this in my packages um, with, uh, you know, backing. Um, I insert a different one for Amazon and then a different one for my wedding clients. And um, I showed it to you guys, and everybody was like, hey, a lot of people messaged me, and they said, hey, I would love to buy them off of you. I said, I'm not going to sell you the printed version, as it's probably more cost-effective for me to sell the digital, and you can, of course, print it on your own, which everybody agreed. I worked um, somewhat hard, not really hard, but somewhat hard on trying to figure out how to best make it for you so it's editable, and um, easy to change the font, colors, text, whatever to fit for you, and you're able to download it and you know do all that stuff. So I figured it out, and of course the link above um, is now the packages I sell. But don't click it yet. I want to talk to you about what what's what kind of things you should be putting in your packages. I want to talk to you about um, the obviously the different templates I have, so you should know what I'm offering in there. Um, I put it together yesterday. Um, and I wanted to discuss it with you because all people are excited to get it. Okay, so before you go ahead and take a look or purchase, I want to show you them. I want to discuss with you why it's important to include certain things in your packages over others. Hint, hint, business cards. Um, let's get right to it, okay? Um, first of all, the um, business cards. Here is why I don't like them. Most people just toss them. They throw them away. Um, first of all, the only thing I do like about them is it has your brand on it. People know where it came from. People, it looks professional. Um, and, you know, in the rare instance somebody does keep it, okay, great. But I find that it is almost a waste of time. Now, I don't mind including it in a package along with an actual insert of some sort, okay? But just a business card alone doesn't really make me sing, okay? Um, I hate them because people toss them out. And it does not have a clear call to action. Um, a call to action, if you're not aware of what those are, is pretty much um, one thing you want your buyer to act on, um, the person who purchased from you, okay? Call to actions can happen anywhere. It can happen online, so even if they don't purchase from you. But since you're putting this in your package, they obviously purchased from you, and you want them to do one thing. And by the way, that's what I recommend. You don't have a million call to actions. You have one. So for example, here's just a card I put in my packages. It's really pretty, right? You're getting married. It's obviously for wedding clients. On the back, well, I tell them, congratulations, I got you something. And they turn to the back. It's a 20% off coupon. And I want them to so continue shopping if they forgot something for their wedding. I want them to go to my .com and buy from there. So I give them a coupon code for 20% off to go to my .com. So I want them to do one thing. I want them to repeat buy on my .com, okay? So I have one thing I'm focusing on, okay? Um, I used to do business cards to look professional and branding, but they are so expensive. You know, um, I don't know where you get your business cards from, but generally they're not so expensive if you buy them in bulk. 
they do make it look professional, but I'd rather you use that, that space, that paper, that something to do something else that's much more meaningful, okay? So one thing is get them to repeat buy. That's a great idea. Another thing that I do, which if you're on Amazon, well, if you're even on Etsy and you're new to Etsy, it's important to get some reviews under your belt, right? We know on Amazon how important reviews are. So using your package inserts to encourage reviews, okay? But I find that a lot of people have issues with reviews. Um, they're not getting enough, whatever. Just for the record, by including an insert, it doesn't mean one out of one, you know, one for every one customer that purchased from you will leave a review. It doesn't mean that, but hopefully it does increase. But I, um, I believe in a few things um, to do and make it very clear for the customer that the only thing you want them to do, the only thing, is leave them a review, leave me a review. And I actually walk them through the steps, for example, on Amazon, okay? Um, Nicole says, how do you work the coupon code for weddings with the time limit? Do you do individual codes? Fantastic question. This one, by the way, is on my .com. However, I think you do something similar for Etsy. It is. I have a um, grouping. So these codes don't expire within a week, obviously. They expire within a couple months. So uh, obviously I sell a lot of weddings. So I have groupings of codes. Eventually they expire and I'm putting new codes into these. So this one allows me to hand write. You don't have to hand write. For example, this is obviously in my package um, that I'm offering above in the link. Um, and I have it empty. You can actually type in a code if you want. Again, completely editable. But I find that me handwriting it makes it seem like, wow, I got the special code. I'm trying it out, okay? Uh, my wedding season is about to start very soon, so the several months I've been doing this is about to hopefully pay off soon because nobody is really buying as much at this moment, you know? Um, I'm thirsty for my coffee. Kareth, I shipped out 250 engagement ornaments and could kick myself for not thinking of this for my wedding, even wine, yes, almost until the end of the buying season. Got them now. It's okay. So you learn, right? So another thing you want to consider also for these inserts, and again, I have a variety of inserts you could choose from, you could change it, but Kareth thought of it like, oh, I sent to this client, and you have to think to yourself, what do you want them to do after they get this, this product? Kareth found an opportunity after the fact, but found the opportunity to say, you know, they could be a repeat buyer. They could, you know, especially somebody that's engaged. Um, because they're, if you sell wedding items, they could definitely come back. So I want you to consider that when you're creating your inserts. What is a big push? What do you want them to do, right? What do you want them to do after they get it? Is it potential for repeat buying? Or, I don't have the insert with me. It's somewhere, is there a potential to say, you know what, this is a really trendy product. I want them to share, share, share. My big push is um, social media. So what is your insert? They revolve around social media, right? So think about that, okay? Oops, sorry. Ma Erica says, my only concern is if my item is sent as a gift, the insert might be more awkward than business card. Sorry, joining late. Sorry if you covered that. You know, yes and no. So, um, so this one right here, handmade just for you. That's fine, even if it's a gift. And this other one says, thank you for your purchase. I'm excited to announce da -da -da, my .com, the reason why they should shop on my .com, the benefit, right? I sign it. If I included this in a gift, it's not so awkward, okay? Because yes, I'm thanking them for the purchase, even though they didn't purchase it, it's fine. I'm still marketing my .com. Now, um, there's many templates in this package I offer. I also suggest if you're like, yeah, I'm not going to thank them for the purchase. They didn't buy it. No problem. No problem. You could change it. You could say a gift for you, you know, or something. In fact, I also include a template, the, the template I use for you, for example. See, I don't know if it's, if it's fuzzy or not, if it's focused, but this is just a little gift package. It says a gift for you. And what I do is I have these, I have these pre-printed. And when somebody's like, Hey, put a gift message. I open this file. I delete this and under here I write some text and I write Sally thanks for the gift whatever I put it through my printer and now I have a pre-printed gift note um, but to fully answer Erica's question um, you could definitely change a template and have just some on the side especially for holiday season that for gifts right that are gift so it's not so awkward but that really still like what do you want the gift recipient to do can anybody tell me what you'd want a gift recipient to do you know, um, let me just take a sip of my coffee. Yeah. 
You don't want to thank them for their purchase. They didn't buy anything from you. You don't want to tell them to leave a review. That doesn't make any sense. What you want them to do is love their items so much that they think of you when they want to buy more. How do you do that? You tell them where your where your online place is, where you hang out, right? Your dot com. If if you want to take it a step further, it's encouraging them to really buy, giving them a coupon. Okay? Like if you buy within two weeks, you get 30% off your next order. Like how are you gonna really push them? to make them into your customer. Gift recipients are not your customers, right? The person who purchased it is. So how are you doing that? And by the way, all these little tips I'm giving you is kind of, you know, tchotchke, but in the link above where I'm selling the marketing packages, okay, the marketing inserts, they're all templates, all editable. I also include a section, the first section, three videos, okay, three how-to videos, three, the, the first video, let me, let me pull it up really quick. Um, curriculum. The first video is how to use these templates. I show you how to edit them in every single way. Even give you printing tips. Obviously you might be printing at home or you may be printing like a Vista print or something. So that's the first video. Uh, second video is three things you must include in your inserts, your package inserts. So when you are using my templates, first of all, I explain to you why I do certain things. So you could obviously still edit it if you want, but even if you edit it, I want to make sure you are doing the three things I tell you to do, um, or at least two of them, to make it an effective, an effective marketing insert. And then number three video is what type of inserts to include in your packages and why, okay? Depending on the customer, depending on what your message is, etc. And I and I walk you through that. And or I'm I'm new and people convo me. They're so happy, but don't leave a review. What to do? What to do is. Your big push for reviews. This obviously is a template for Amazon, but you could edit it if you buy my package or if you make your own, it doesn't matter. You could edit it to um, reflect for Etsy or wherever you want people to leave reviews. Here's where people fail, guys. And I mentioned this in one of my videos. Are you giving them too many calls to action? Are you, are you not making it simplified? Are we making sure that we want a review and that's the only thing I want from them? I walk them through the steps, right? Really simple. So including an insert, making the insert only about reviews. Even if you take this template, by the way, which the templates come separate. So you can print whatever you want in the front, whatever you want in the back. You can switch it up. Um, this is here, just my, my logo, what I sell, my Amazon address, and then the review thing. You could even leave that empty and say on the front, you could even type something up yourself and say, um, Love your product, dot, 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 and then turn it around, leave a review, right? So it's very clear. You just want a review. Please help me. And of course, reviews are really great everywhere. I highly recommend pushing that on Amazon um, because, well, for obvious reasons, people trust um, when they see reviews, especially on Amazon. Just FYI, this package here, I forgot to mention, is $20 which is a steal. I literally have 10 templates in there, three videos, and the opportunity for you to met, you know, contact me for ideas for more templates. Literally, Sally, or somebody could say, hey Dahlia, I would love this type of template. This is the kind of details that I want in it. I think many people would benefit from it. Done. I will create it, put it up there. Easy. And so regularly I'll be updating this with new templates because you know, somebody could use this, only probably use a few templates from here, not the whole thing. So I want to make sure that this is a really great deal for you. So over time, I'll be adding them. They don't take me long. I'm obviously a designer to create these templates, okay? Um, so as you get ideas, let me know. It's only $20, so it's literally a steal. It's all digital format, so you can print away to your heart's content, all editable, which that in itself is worth much more. Um, so everything that I have is included and a little bit more. Um, I also include, by the way, it's, it's a folded note card. Let me show you. This is a thank you note. Look how pretty. I, I think it's backwards, by the way. I'm not sure if you're seeing it normal or not, but this is a thank you note. This comes in a flat note card version and a folded note card version for you to print out. So you could print out this folded one and then write your thank you note to your customers. So if your inserts is not really marketing, but simply a thank you note, which by the way is very effective, people absolutely love thank you notes. Um, I have a few of them in there for you as well. Let me read some comments here. I want them to buy more of my product. Natasha, great point, right? Um, again, I, I really go into it in the video, but I can simply tell you here, you want someone to buy your product again? Okay, give them a reason to. First of all, this marketing insert, where is it? the coupon one, right, to encourage people to buy more, is not going to 
do wonders itself. You better have a good product, good packaging, good service, right? Then including this will really put the cherry on top. Okay, simple. Um, so just think about that, Natasha, everybody else that's thinking that. And I do the same, handwritten card and gift, perfect. And actually I have a few more thank you cards I'll be including in this, sorry, my phone is shaking. A few more thank you templates, uh, well-designed. You can't edit those because they're certain fonts, certain colors. But if you have any feedback, saying, oh, Dahlia, I love this template, but I would love if you offered it in a red for holiday season or something. I'll be happy to make it for you. Literally, you pay $20 one time, one time. And every time I update something or add something new, you know, I, I foresee in a few months or so that this package, which includes currently 10 templates, will probably include over 50. Because I know you guys have ideas. You guys have different things going on. I'd love to include it. And they're all sectioned off. I'll show you in a minute, okay? Um, what if it's an Amazon customer? I also mentioned in my video, um, be careful with Amazon customers because, for example, I have an Amazon one. Where's my Amazon one? I only put my Amazon um, thing down here. I also, um, so that if they want to reshop. But that's not my big push. They come back to me anyway. They love me. They come back to me anyway. My big push is for reviews right now. Later... I might push the return customer on Amazon, but they already are coming to me, so I'm not worried about that. Um, will they template work on iMac? Great question, by the way. In order for you to use these templates, and I would love your feedback, guys, later, um, is you have to have Microsoft Word. It's as simple as that. If you don't have Microsoft Word, these templates won't work for you. At this current time, I found it to be the easiest way for you to use the templates and edit them, okay? So if on your iMac you have Microsoft Word, absolutely. But if you don't, if you have a suggestion of how else I could give you these templates, then I would love to hear about it. Okay? Um, not sure you mentioned already, but what about digital sellers? Digital sellers. Wow, what a fantastic question, by the way. Um, I don't... Well, obviously, these are all digital. But um, you... You know what, Stacy? I absolutely love that suggestion. Stacy. Um, well, girls, if you buy this package or not, Stacy, I'd recommend, um, if you, first of all, if you do buy it, there is a section on the bottom, and I'll show you guys in a second what's included, um, that allows you to give me feedback. It tells you instructions of how, what to do if you want new templates. And Stacy, so if you do buy it, you go ahead and follow the suggestions and, um, get that suggestion over to me. But I'd love that idea because I'm a digital seller myself and including with my digital packages, I send... Um, like a how to print and a how to this and a how to that. Um, and I'd love to offer a digital section to include. And essentially what would happen is if Stacy offers a digital item, let's say she's offering, um, I don't know, this printout, let's say a resume or something. Um, along with that, she'll have this other item that she includes that's branded for you. Obviously you edit it. And that will help with the, the big marketing push you want. The repeat purchase. Obviously to make the customer happy. So instruction. That's a really good idea. I have to think that through though. But to, to include a digital section. Um, what do you think of asking them to post about your product on social media? Tag you get a discount. Love that Natasha. Let me show you to answer Natasha's question. What's included in my, um, in my package? Because I also include that. So one second, let me pull it up really quick. So I include um, a social media call to action and you could obviously edit this template, it's just an example. But here's what I'd say for Natasha and everybody else that's considering that. What is your big push? If that's your big push and you want them because they're a trendy product and you know what, you're trying to, your big push right now for 2017 is to grow your Instagram following, grow your Facebook likes, whatever, mm -hmm. and that's what you do. Let me show you what I put in here. Okay, so this is just one of the templates, obviously, but um, the big push is, you know, getting 30% off, follow me on Instagram, tag us in your photo, and I will message you on Instagram your coupon code. This is a really quick um, example. Um, so you would obviously change the percentage off. You would change your, you know, your tag here, and then your hashtag, right? And anything else you want to change, a .com or whatever. Um, and this is just one side. But yes, I think that's a great idea. 
And again, if you have a different look that you want or something, I again will be making more templates as you guys ask for them. Again, only, and if you want to make your own template, obviously that's cool if you know how to do it, but if you want to get mine, it's only 20 bucks for all these templates and you get to get more templates for free as it gets added on. Okay, Samantha, when people message me with how happy they are, always tell them I'm so happy you love it. If you have a second, I totally appreciate leaving a review, even if simple five stars amazing. Ask, ask, ask. Yes, if they message you, absolutely asking. But sometimes they already feel that way when they receive your package. If you want a big push for, especially if you're new to online selling, your, one of your big pushes should be um, reviews right? So make sure that you put that in your package. That's the one thing you want to put in your package, okay? So um, yeah, Natasha, great thing. So by the way, these templates are editable. So if you just saw, um, it says tag us in your photo, or it could say, like Natasha said, show me how you're enjoying it, and then it shows a hashtag. Most people know what to do with that, you know? So think about that. Um, depending on what you want a big push. Again, all these are editable. You could put your own words, change your own colors. All these font colors are to my branding, but you could change them to your fonts as well. Okay? And by the way, if you don't really have some fancy fonts, there's a lot of really great free fonts on um, fontsquirrel.com. It's one of the ones I recommend. Um, I need my coffee. Nicola, I answered your question already, but I'm not sure if I was clear enough. They will work on Mac if you have Microsoft Word. Okay, if you have Microsoft Word, they will work on Mac. Um, Tanya, are fonts included that we should install? No. Um, let me explain why. Um, well, it's for my branding. If you, so when you open these items up, it will go to your default font, which is Arial or Times New Roman or whatever. You could change them around to your branding. However, in my video, I have a video in here that uh, shows you how to edit te the templates, and etc. You will see each te template that I edit. You will see what my fonts are called. So if you're like, Di, I really like that font you have there. I want to get it. The fonts that I use in here, some are paid mm -hmm. for, some are not. Um, but they're really simple, by the way. You can definitely find free versions. Like you saw the one I just showed you. It's really simple, but it's a paid for one, but you could find free versions very easily. I don't use super, super fancy things. The ones that are really fancy, by the way, like this one, okay, this you cannot edit. So this will, when you open this file, it will look just like this. You cannot edit this file. You will have to print it as is. If there are suggestions in the future that say, Dahlia would really like this in several different colors to match certain branding then I'll be happy to do it. It literally will take me minutes to change the color and upload you guys some new templates, okay? Um, but yes, I did not include fonts because this is meant for you to edit to your branding. Um, and says, best place to have these printed. I print at home, but not sure if it's cost-effective. So much ink. Fantastic question, and I'm going to answer that like this. When you, If you want to get this package, I recommend first printing at home. Let me explain, Anne, because what happens is you're not quite sure what you should be doing or what, if you're doing it right. So you're printing this out, right? Imagine you're printing this out and at home. After a while, you realize, you know what? What I wrote down there doesn't even make sense. The grammar is wrong. Or I want to make my dot com, see the dot com? I want to make it bigger and a different color. Or the message I'm saying is not really effective. I tried it for two months or a month and nobody's biting or whatever, right? So you might have to change things around, make your benefit more bolder, whatever. So the point is, first, if you can print locally or print at home, because um, you might want to change some things. You don't want to commit to 5,000 of these. Next, if you're ready to commit, I highly recommend going to Vista Print. Okay, this is just a marketing insert. It doesn't have to be super duper fancy. I'm trying to save you money. If you want to go to like Moo and places like that, it's absolutely fine. But I find that Vista Print with you when using a coupon or even OfficeDepot.com um, could be really cost effective. If you go to a local place, um, that could be really good for you compared to printing at home. But if you're not selling a lot, right? If you're selling, let's say, um, you know, 20 or 30 things a month, okay? Maybe printing at home is the way to go in the beginning. Okay, it just depends. Um, oh, by the way, the Amazon insert, where is it? This Amazon insert is for free to those who have purchased the Amazon webinar, right? Like we talked about. Um, it'll be in your Amazon webinar later on today. 
you know, when you log in, it'll be in there. So um, Amazon purchasers, webinar purchasers, will always get Amazon templates for free. So if you have an idea for an Amazon template, let me know. You get that for free. Excuse me. All the other ones, though, obviously, if you want that, the package is right above in the link. Okay? Again, just $20 for all of these, all editable. Um, and by the way, um, these are Microsoft Word, but I show you in the video, it's really simple, um, how to export these as PDFs. Okay, no crazy, you know, technology knowledge required, really easy. So then you could print it outside in the real light, you know, real world. You don't send them a Microsoft Word document. So everything's taken care of. Um, yeah, exactly. So in case I missed it, are they getting uploaded later? Because I ordered and nothing is available yet. Hold on a second. <clears throat> <clears throat> Excuse me. Oh, that's why. Duh. I have to hit publish. Thank you for letting me know. They are uploaded. I just have to hit publish on them. Un momento. Okay, well, give me a second. I'm going to hit publish on all the files. There you are. I'm, I'm hitting publish all to them all right now. So if you just purchase and you're like, where are they? Refresh your screen in just under 30 seconds. And you'll see all of them. I'm sorry, I've got to hit publish on all of them. So they're all there right now, okay? Um, do I, I love this question, Carrie. Do I buy special size paper? Do I cut? The paper is letter size, but I have some really interesting news for you. They are letter size paper. So this size, eight and a half by 11. My papers, okay, are, <clears throat> see this? You cut this in four pieces. So my cards, like this one, is literally four of these will make a letter size. It's simple. But if you're like, Dahlia, nope, I'm overseas. We're not, letter size is not standard for us. What you gonna do about it? Don't worry, in my videos, I teach you how to edit the templates. It's so simple to change the size. If you're like, Dahlia, I'm all about five by sevens. I have a whole bunch of paper laying around. I wanna use it. You're like, Dahlia, I need them to be smaller for whatever reason. I show you how to edit the templates. Um, to the size, okay? I even show you if you want to make a large size paper to make a huge flyer, for whatever reason, I don't know why, then um, I show you how to edit that as well. Um, again, if you see these templates, you're like, I have a suggestion. I would love to make flyers for this and that, and I would love for you to create a template for me. Done. And for free. You pay once, literally, you pay $20 once. I, this is probably the best. This is, okay. This is probably the best deal I've ever given anybody ever, right? Because it's only $20 and you get these templates, which is awesome for your packages. You can edit them. And down the road, I include a section that tells you, hey, you want some more templates? This is how you give me suggestions. And you would email me the suggestions and I will, over time, create them for you. And every time I create something for you, you will get an email when a new template is in there. Literally, every time I put a new whole bunch of templates, and I would not put one at a time, by the way, I put a group of them. And you never have to pay a dime more. I think that's insane. Only for $2. Sorry, somebody was just calling me. Um, okay, so Carrie said again. Why do they keep calling me? Do I buy special size paper? Do I cut? And um, you do cut if you want to, but the size again is just four of these fit exactly on a letter sized paper. Okay, that I show you in the video. Watch the videos first, guys. Just watch the videos first so you understand how to use it. You, I mean, which is kind of simple, but still. Um, and you understand a few of the things I want you to do with it, okay? Um, sorry, let me get my... Tanya, I am pumped for this as well. And here's why. Not only because you guys have been asking for it, but I'm so excited... I'm so excited to really give you guys value. Besides the fact that it already has value in there, I'm so excited in the future for you to guys give me ideas about what you would want. Um, and here's, here's another thing, by the way. Uh, again, all these are editable. So if you're like, Dahlia, I don't like that you said this and that in there. I'm going to change that. Absolutely, you could rearrange. I show you how to do each and every one of those things. But more importantly, you know, a lot of, a lot of you guys have some great ideas. And you might say, Dahlia, I... I really would like a different type of social media one. You included a few in here. They're nice, but I'm looking more for this type of look. In the section where it tells me, hey, give me suggestions, I'll tell you how to email me and instructions. 
I also tell you exactly to be very specific. So I want to know exactly what you want so I can create it. Um, it'll only not help you, but I'll help your peers. Okay. And there's so many in here. And of course I'll be adding mo much more. You won't look like the next person. Don't worry. I love to add, I'll be adding, um, I think sometime today or this weekend, I'll be adding a few more thank you cards. Here is one example. I love this one. Okay. And I'll be adding a few more. The, the thank you cards, by the way, are not editable. I'm using fancy fonts and things like that. And, um, you obviously could create your own, but I would like to use really, really nice ones. I teach you how to brand these in the video, how to um, still have your brand on these, just in case the only thing you include is a thank you card. You can still put your .com on here, etc. I teach you how to do that as well. Um, can we add pictures to the templates or should we? Avery, fantastic question. In the training video, I teach you... You could edit these templates any way you want. I even teach you how to add pictures. And But Avery does ask, should I be adding pictures? Let me explain. Um, in the several uh, examples I show you in the video, I show you reasons why you would want to add pictures. One of them is adding your logo. If you want to take away some things I put and I give you examples, I tell you you could add a logo instead. So yes, you can add it. I show you exactly how to do it to make it you know, not crazy and act crazy. That's number one. Should you? That's a fantastic question. I go into that in one of my videos. I have three videos for you. But to answer it here quickly, it really depends. Um, you know, when you want to add pictures, it could be for your new big product line. Um, I don't have templates like that yet, but you can certainly edit them. The, the biggest example I use is for like um, your logo, for example, to put a picture in there. But in the future, let's say... Um, Let's say Avery says to me, Dahlia, I would love a template that really pushes my new product line. Okay, I want them to buy it or my holiday line coming up soon because holidays around the corner. I say, great idea, I'm going to create templates for you. That would be a good template to include pictures in, right? So, um, Maggie, you're late, you're late, no problem. Um, let me just wrap up what I'm saying. I'll continue to ask, answer questions. I have created a marketing insert for packages for you guys. The bundle is right above the link. It is only $20. Currently as it stands, it's about 10 templates or a little bit more, three videos, one how-to and the other one's informational to help you get the most out of these templates, okay? And you know, how to use them for your customers, etc. I love your feedback on them. And the best part, I mean, mm -hmm. besides the variety of templates, the best part I see about this is that, well, two things. One, you could edit these to your fonts, colors, to your heart's desire, and I show you how to do that. But also, as you need it, literally, as you need it, I'm at your disposal. What that means is, you're like, Dahlia, I need this type of template. I, this is why I think this is great, blah, 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 blah. And I see a lot of people ask for it. I'm like, done. I create it and I put it into this bundle. Meaning, if you log in again, new templates will always be there as people are asking for them. Okay? In the instructions, I tell you exactly how to email me because... There's a way I am filing these suggestions. So let's say every two weeks I look at the suggestions. I go in, I create templates, I upload some more for you. That's my most favorite part. You pay $20 once and you have templates for life. Okay? Now, $20, right? In the future, will the price probably go up? Maybe. Not sure, right? As it start, this bundle starts to become more... Um, more valuable, right? Um, as we start to grow in our business, we're going to need different templates for different things. And paying $20 once is amazing. So I will say that if you want it or consider it, even if you only want to use one template now, get it now. Because as you grow, you might want to use more templates. And they will be for free. You don't have to pay more than $20. You're locked in that price. In the future, the price goes up, you'll get it for a higher price. But why not get it now, you know? Um, I keep pointing above to purchase, but there's nothing there. What are you pointing to? <laughs> Above here, there should be a link. Is it not there? I'm sure it is. It's called bit.ly. Let me type it into the, the um, comments here. bit.ly slash uh, marketing inserts. Again, these are... In Sorry, I'm back. These are inserts that a lot of people have been asking me for. As soon as I showed them to you guys in an example... Uh, Facebook Live, people were like, I need them. And I was like, all right. Um, so um, I didn't want to sell the actual printed versions for you just to save you some money, okay? Um, tips on what to say. I say thanks for supporting my handmade shop. More ideas, please. That's a great question, Trina. Um, 
I don't want to overcomplicate things, depending on what your big push is. For example, Trina, in the third video I have in this, um, in this package, I tell people, what is your big push? What do you want what do you want from the customer? And if you simply just want to thank them, like in a thank you card, it's thanking them for supporting your handmade shop. It's simply um, inviting them to shop again with you on your .com or whatever it is. And that is it. Hope you enjoy this and that. You might think about regular thank you cards. When you write a regular thank you card to somebody, you usually um, thank them for what they did. And in this case, they purchased from your handmade shop. And you usually refer to the gift. So, um... You know, when somebody invites you for dinner, you write a thank you card saying, love the meatloaf. You know, my daughter couldn't get enough of it. So in your thank you card, you could continue writing something like, um, I don't know what you sell, Trina, but let's say you sell wooden signs for the home. You could say, um, I think this wooden sign will make a great addition to your home. Refer to the gift and make them, um, how do I say this? Make them reinforce what a good purchase they made. So refer to the gift and how it's going to affect their lives in a positive way. The thank you notes that I sell, um, it, it could be something as simple as, you know, helping their daughter write thank you notes. It could be something as simple as, you know what I'm saying? So refer to the gift and how it's going to positively affect their life. Okay, that's what I recommend, Trina. Um, how do I get into your buying? What does that mean? I would love to purchase your templates and get the thank you cards. Um, am, I, am I wrong to say this? But hold on. The info bub does not show on phones. Trying to purchase but can't locate my password. Terry, you'll have to message me so I can reset your password. But can somebody confirm that the link is right above where I say it is? <laughs> if not, it's bit.ly bit slash marketing inserts. That's all it is. Um, can somebody type it down below for me? I already typed it up in the comments. But it should be right above where it says the topic of this Facebook Live, it is there. Some people might be missing it depending on how you're viewing it, okay? Um, I'm also going to include more thank you cards, by the way. Um, uh, people, <laughs> they're very nice, but they were um, wondering when they're going to get it, when they're going to get it, and um, I, was, I, was, uh, I had it on my to-do list because I said, what a fantastic idea. Obviously, I'm a designer, and people need to put really good inserts in their packages, so... Um, I wanted to provide all this for you, and last night, yesterday during the day, I was thinking, you know what would be a great idea is if I included thank you cards. And if guys, imagine I didn't include thank you cards, and you said, Dahlia, I would really love to include a thank you card. Can you design some for us? I would have done it. So if you have an idea to something that I'm not really including in here, let's say if I didn't include social media templates, or if I didn't include whatever, you could tell me, and I would create a whole package for you. You're like, Dahlia, imagine I didn't include thank you cards. You're like, Dahlia, can you create... A few thank you cards for us that we could use depending on you know the occasion or how it looks this is a really uh cute one right um this comes in a flat and folded but if you're like dahlia i want something really elegant for my wedding customers done send me the instruction send me the suggestion the way i tell you to send it to me and then i would literally start creating templates for you okay i'm thirsty i need some of this so I want you um, to look through, see what you have, edit them as you need it. And then if you say in the close future, you're like, yeah, I have some ideas. Email me the way I tell you to email me. The way I have it set up, guys, the way you email it to me, mm. it will be in a separate folder mm. in my Gmail account. So I can look there at least once a week, once every two weeks, look at suggestions and make the templates and upload them again for free. You don't pay a dime extra. One second, guys. What's up? This looks good. Sorry, I'm just checking proofs really quick. I think it has to be moved to the right ones. It's kind of weird. Or move the left side in a second. Okay. Okay. Oh, that last name is famous. Okay. That looks good. Okay. Hey, guys, sorry. Um, so, d right? I love this excitement because I love it because I really... Um, 
it's well first of all it's affordable it's editable it took me a while to figure out how i'm gonna make this so easy for you guys and not overcomplicate it i even bought a program that lets me do editable pdfs i'm like this is way too complicated so i bought a program that i can't use anymore which is fine um maybe i'll use i use it in the future for some reason but i love it because it gives you um <clears throat> easy access to um I don't know, these, these different templates as you need them. You know, in one of my videos, I talked to you about what type of inserts, and it's in the, inside the bundle, what type of inserts to include in your packages and why. You know, I include multiple different templates, um, not just different styles of one type, but different ones, a review type, a percentage off type, a social media, because you will have to tailor what you send depending on the customer, and I talked to you about that in the video. So that's why, because it's a it's a... Exactly, Carol. It's exactly that. It's a seal for anyone that needs templates. If you're already a designer, you probably don't need it. You might get some ideas from here. That's awesome. It's only 20 bucks. But a lot of us are not designers, right? Or first of all, don't have the time. So we don't have the time to figure out what you want to do, how to design it, how to do this. It's already made for you. Literally, all you have to do is go in and change my .com to your .com. Um, you know, the word stationary to your thing, you know what I'm saying? And and as much as I appreciate you sending your customers my way, please, please make sure when you edit these templates to really look mm -hmm. through and make sure you change everything before you print a lot. Um, again, I appreciate you sending people my way, but not necessary. I want to um, make sure that you proofread and saying everything that Dahlia has put in her name is not in her name anymore. I removed her .com, I removed the word stationary, I removed this and that. Even your message, if you don't like my message, you're like, Dahlia, I love that you thank people for the purchase, but I'm, I want to tell them something else. I want to tell them simply um, something else. You could even, um, here's another example how you could completely edit these and give you ideas. Handmade just for you, right? Perfect, I love this one. If you turn this to the side, it says thank you for your purchase with a heart, okay? You can literally delete the bottom half and write your own message. There's another thank you card. And by the way, if you, um, I include these like this. However, I will give you a tip, okay? The tip is if you really want people to read them and not throw them away, right? And most people will read them because they're beautifully designed. But if you really want them to make sure that they're seeing it, put them inside of an envelope. People will be inclined to open the envelope. They want to know what's inside. Am I right? So that's a little trick for you guys. Envelopes are cheap. You get them from a huge amount of them online, Office Depot, Amazon, doesn't matter. It'll cost you pennies on each one. Especially if the message you want to include in there is really, really important. And you're like, I really want people to see this and read it. If you designed it well, if you follow my videos and I, and I talk to you about how to make sure um, your messages are effective. I talk about that, right? What parts to highlight on here so people understand what you're trying to tell them. Put it in an envelope. Okay, that's what I do with, um, well, depending on the message I'm saying to them, I send them some of them in envelopes. Um, so they will open it, even if you address the envelope. So um, my envelopes, by the way, I use up my old envelopes I don't use anymore. It's a really, really dark navy. I take my gold pen and I write their name on it. They are inclined, guys, to open the envelope and see my little card. Genius, right? So that's to ensure that they're actually taking it and reading it. You know nobody's going to throw away an envelope with something inside of it. You know that, okay? Um, definitely a huge time saver. Jenna's wondering, because she came in late, what am I referring to? Wow, a lot has been covered, and I recommend if um, you would like to rewatch this Facebook Live, but I'll tell you. There's a link above, okay? I don't know if you can see it on your phone or whatever. It's bit.ly backslash or forward slash.